door because it's a dangerous road i travel a thousand miles a week so my windows are down i'm just in my 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 spiritual mood i see him with the gun radar gun i knew that i was going to get stopped wasn't speed wasn't doing anything i knew i was going to get stopped because i'm used to being stopped because of my vehicle and because i'm black now this is someone that's been in law enforcement for 15 years. So, I go ahead and get over in the center lane because I know I'm going to be the one that, I see him come out, I know I'm going to be the one that stopped. I see him get behind me, he turns on his lights, and I call, I make a phone call, get my girlfriend on FaceTime so she can see this in here. He comes up to my window and he sees my uniform, but I will say, I asked him immediately, and you all have the right to know why you are being stopped. Because when I was trained back in 2005 as an officer, deputy, a law enforcement officer, approach your window, they are supposed to give their name. I am officer such and such. I am deputy such and such. And the reason that I stopped you today. Well, he come up to my window real aggressive like. And I asked him, I said, why did you pull me over? I have that right to know. Because I know that I wasn't speeding. I know that I, I wasn't swerving. I wasn't doing anything. And I know that he was running radar. So if you're running radar and you're stopping me, you're insinuating that I was speeding. But anyway. So he tells me. Well, you were following too close. And I said, following too close. And you had your phone. You were on your phone. I said, I wasn't on my phone. I said, I was listening to my gospel music. So then he says, oh, hey, yeah, she works for customs. And then he turns on his mic. He said, oh, yeah, because this, I can feel a complaint coming. So now me working for customs had nothing to do with the stop. That was just him being intimidated by my position, okay? It was him being intimidated, young white officer. So then he's kind of mouthing me and me being who I am. And those of you that know who I am and how I am, you're not going to disrespect me, period. I told him, either you're gonna write me a ticket or you're not. And he told me, I sure am. Okay, fine. The other officer comes to the window. Do you have driver's license? Well, what kind of question is that? I mean, I am sitting here in a federal uniform. You would think that I, right, assume that I have a license, right? I hand him my license. And then he says, well, I need a registration. Now, for those that do not know, when you register your tag, you have to have, you have to have insurance, right? in this state and it is linked because the system's a lot better when i was a deputy at jefferson county okay they can see your insurance well i said sir can't you y'all can pull that up right no not out of state well my tag is alabama oh, okay i'm looking for my registration as i'm i'm i'm, I'm well i, I show him my proof of insurance first on my phone and then he asks for registration now y'all he taking me down through that now He's, he's, he's every little thing, every little thing he can do. He, let me see your, let me see your registration. 